Hey guys, got a special treat for you today. We are at a course called Alpha at River City Nature Park in DeBerry, Florida. We're just outside of Orlando. And we have an absolutely beautiful course to show you here today. I am super excited. Uh, unfortunately, for whatever reason, my microphone did not make it in my bag. Uh, we had our normal shoot yesterday and just think they're a little disheveled right now. So please bear with me. I will do my best. To make sure I speak loudly for you so you can hear. Um, but this is a beautiful course and I am looking forward to playing this today. Now we're starting off on hole number one. It is, so we are playing the main layout. So it's a long piece to the red baskets. Um, so we're playing, this one is a par three, 294 feet. We're pretty much straight a little bit to the right there at the end. So for this shot, we're actually gonna go at it with the trusty Missy Gannon Thrasher. on our first shot but we're still uh in a good position up there should have a look at the basket so let's go up there all right so we left ourselves with a little work but not too much the basket right behind those trees and we're just gonna do a little flick with the zone get up there and all right that should be right under the basket so we'll get our part and move on to the next hole We got a fun hole here. This is going to be a par four, just over 400 feet. And, uh, we're going to go down the fairway, hang a left, and then another right, and then our bass is going to be up there. We're going to go at it initially with the big Z on it. We'll push as straight as we can before we start fading. <clears throat> All right, couldn't see it, but we did. It was low, but we stayed straight and we got the skip into the turn. So we should be set up for our next shot. Let's go. All right, so we did have a good shot. We are, we made the turn. Basket is straight ahead. I'd probably say just over a hundred feet. We are gonna go at it with the EMAC judge, our loose judge. Try and get up there, so that's not pretty. That was close. We were about a foot and a half short of making that eagle, but we're in a good spot for a birdie putt. Let's go get it. All right, we lift ourselves with a little bit longer of a putt than I wanted because I got to skip out of that last shot, but we are going to go ahead and see if we can punch this in for birdie. Hole two, first birdie of the day. Feels great, let's move on to hole number three. All right guys, we're on hole number three. It's 334 feet. We're down through that gap to the right. So we're again gonna go at it, try and make that turn with the fresh. All right, so we clipped the tree and it cut rolled back to the left. So it actually puts us in a better spot uh, because we're not stuck behind some brush. We at least have a long look at the basket for see if we can uh, toss it a long foot. So let's get up there. All right, guys, here's where that smart golf comes in that I told you I was learning how to play. We've got to look at the basket, but it's an elevated basket and uh, I don't know that I can run it this far out. So we're just going to pitch up close with the judge. enough to tap in should be another par so we are one under after three let's go all right that's our par let's go to four all right we are at hold number four now it is 220 feet 
down into the right through that gap. And we're going at it with ESP Meteor. I'm just gonna try and get up there, face to the right through the gap. Thing actually flew really straight for us so we should be in a good spot for a long putt at a birdie let's go we got pin high on the basket um, which is pretty good for this hole but we're probably 25 feet away so we'll try and toss in with the judge see if we get ourselves another birdie bounce off the cage but we did make it in so we got ourselves another birdie let's move on to hole number five all right we are trying not to get rained on right now we're at hole number five i had to uh i was on the wrong scorecard for uh baskets and but i was following the right signs on the t signs so we were playing the long baskets or the long tees to the yellow baskets which is what we've been doing we have Hole five, we're gonna go out with the passion because we got 273 feet down, slightly to the right. So our goal is to just get a nice straight shot with this and give us a good spot to try and put a four hour birdie. Man, I really wish I had a mic with me. That's my bad guys. I promise I will not do that again, uh, but we don't have much choice for today. So let's go with it. drifted too far to the right so now we're stuck behind the trees so I'll see if there's a line but we may have to lay this up for the bar so sometimes that happens so that's why you got to execute your shots so let's go down and see where we're at all right so we left ourselves in a bad spot we're right here behind this tree we got to look around to the right to try and get to the basket so we're going to go at it with our zone um, but we're not going to go to the, to the left and uh, curve it down to the right a small tiny line um, inside the tree, so we're gonna go with that, but I'm gonna move the camera down by the basket so we can see how close I get on the shot. All right, so that was a decent shot. We're up at the basket, toss it in. All right, we got our part for number five. Let's go ahead and move on to hole number six. All right, we're on to hole number six, and it is 367 feet down and to the right. So we are going to pitch up there with our thrasher, see how far we can get. Hopefully make a little bit of that turn, give us a good uh, look for a second shot. All right, so I went and checked. We are up there. We're at the edge of the tree line. I thought maybe we'd by the creek, but we are up there. We should have a decent look at the basket to uh, probably have to pitch up there again for our par. We're a little far out, but we're up there, we're inbounds. Let's go. All right, guys, we left ourselves in a rough spot. We have our disc here at the edge of the woods. We have the basket up there, so we're gonna try turnover shot with the fierce, nice under, under stable putter. One of this type of shot is why I got this because my forehand is lacking, so we're gonna run at it with the fierce. All right, looks like we left ourselves about a, a 30 footer. So that is definitely makeable. So let's uh, get on up there and see if we can get our part. I'm pretty happy with where that landed. We're right here, a little bit closer than I thought. So let's go ahead and shoot it in with our judge. All right, we saved far, which is a good thing. Let's head to hole number seven. All right, we're on hole number seven. It is 715 feet, it is a par four. And uh, we've got a Mando right here, beginning. We've gotta go straight, then a hard right. We're gonna go at that with our Avenger SS, 
Just trying to make that first turn and then we'll start attacking the basket with some long shots. All right, we hit our Mando and we started to make that turn. So now we're gonna start to see if we can get some air time uh, headed down the fairway towards the basket. All right, so the U-disc was a little misleading. Sometimes it's hard to judge. We made our turn, we're laying here, but instead of going hard to the right, that way, like I thought, it's straight out that way. So we could have gone with a bigger shot off the tee, but that's okay. Let's see if we can make up for here. We're gonna go with the nuke. And we're just gonna, right now we're just going for max distance. All right, we are out in the fairway. Have an open look at the basket, which is still a ways down. So let's uh, go set up for our next shot. Okay, so we are again in a good spot. Here's our disc, baskets over there. All the wet stuff you see over here to my left is that's all out of bounds. So we're gonna try and get over that, shouldn't be a problem. Um, we're gonna go at it with the T-Bird 3. It's gonna go right at this palm tree here on the right. Let it fade in towards the basket. That is our goal. That, folks, puts us right under the basket. That should be a tap in. I think that's a great save uh, for par, considering uh, how I messed up the first shot. Could have got more distance out of it. Had, would have had a birdie look, but that's okay. We're up there, we're not out of bounds. So let's go take our par and then move on to the next hole. All right, guys, not sure how well you could see when I threw it, but this is what we were shooting over. That's, sign says that's all out of bounds when it's wet. We got all the way across, and this is our lie. I am super happy with that. Like I said before, one of my big things is being able to call the shot, pick the right disc, and execute that shot. And that's what we did. With it. So I'm going to count that far. Very nice. So we stayed out of bounds, we called our shot, and we executed. I really enjoy that. Let's go ahead and move on to hole number eight. Guys, we're at hole number eight. We have 341 feet par three. And I swear the South hates me. Or maybe I just need to develop a better full game. But we're down, going to the right again. And that means we're going to rely on our thrasher to make that turn and that get us a look at the basket. All right, we're out there. Actually, it flew pretty straight. I think I got a little hyzer on it and it flipped up, but it didn't turn and burn to the right. So we should be in a good spot for our approach shot. So let's go see uh, what it looks like from where we landed. Okay, so we, we landed in a rough spot. Our uh, disc is there and the basket is over here behind these trees. So we're gonna go at it with the zone and try and make that turn towards the basket. All right, we're up there, should have a putt. All right, we went a little long on our putt, but we still have about a uh, 20 footer for the par, so let's uh, shoot it in. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and move on to hole number nine. Guys, I'm really excited about this basket. It is hole nine, 220 feet. It is down with a hard left, and we're shooting at an elevated basket. So I'm gonna go with the zone. See if I can drop it close and give us a birdie look uh, on our next shot. All right, I think we're close to the basket. But we will find out once we get up there. So let's go see where we land. All right, so I was hoping to push a little farther with our shot. I was hoping to push a little farther with our shot. But we're still gonna, we're still gonna go after it because we have to. Right. We 
just missed that. So let's go put it in for par and move on to hole 10. Good par. Move on to hole number 10.